the leak down tester right here. And what we're going to do on that, we're going to get we're going to get every cylinder on top dead center, top dead center, and we're going to pump air into that cylinder. Okay. Now the valves will be closed. See, these valves are supposed to be closed. The, the intake valves. There's two on the two intakes, and there's two exhausts. Uh, these valves are closed too because the lobe on the camshaft is not hitting the rocker. When that lobe hits the rocker, the valves open. When it comes back around, it closes. Open, closes, open, closes, open, closes. So the valves are closed now. I can tell by the position of the lobes. Alright? So if I pump air in this, let's see what happens. If I pump air in this, there's air going to be coming out of the exhaust pipe will hear it, or there's going to be air coming out of here, and you'll hear it. So we're going to do that now. Okay. And uh, screw in my, my hose. I think I got bent valves. I'm going to confirm that right now before I put this timing K on there. Alright, I'm going to put some air on. But okay, now, now you hear it hissing over here on the body, by the tool, right? Let's take these off. You'll hear it get louder. Let me get you on camera. Did you hear it? All that air is going in the cylinder, but what's going on is since these intake valves are bent, the air is just going right out of here. That is confirmation. You see those two don't do it? Because that's that cylinder. That's that cylinder. That's that. Get two that one. Listen. Try to. Okay. So that's conf confirmation. These heads will have to be taken off. They will have to be get a valve job on this side. All right. So. I'm not going to test the other two because I already know that it's got to come off. Okay? So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to this side and we're going to check these two. While we got it up, while we got these out already. And let's go ahead and confirm this side too. Alright guys, let's do this side. Sheila's hooking up the, uh, the leak down tester. All right, we're now shooting air in this cylinder. See, these valves are good. You don't hear anything. The only thing you hear is that. But I hear something down here. That's going in the... Uh, well, it's just nor it's, well, it's normal because it might be going past the rings a little bit. It did have filthy oil. Back here. So we know it's not coming out of the intake. It's not coming out of the intake, but it is going. The air is passing through the piston because so it's going down there. Well, that, that would be a ring problem. That would be a the piston ring problem right there. It's not a good seal. It's not keeping the air in there. That's the other. You know, there's three places you could leak at. You could leak through the rings, which a little bit of bypass I think is probably normal, or it can leak out of the valve, the intake valve, or the exhaust valve. Alright, what we're going to do now, since I got low compression, it was like 30% on that cylinder right there, we're just going to put a little oil on top of those piston rings. And we're going to do a wet test on it. Turn the air down. Oh. You see it? Oh, it went way up. So that's not good. No, it's good. Oh, it is? Oh, 
Well, you'd probably get a different reading on all of them if they were wet. Yes. Okay. Yes, you get it. So what about those from that side? Or? See, we're at 80. Now we're good again. Wet test. Bad oil. But it's... See what I'm saying? Now you're 100%. Y'all see that on the gauge? Y'all at 100% now with the wet test. So the car has been sitting for a while, so it's dry in there. So you're not going to get the seal because that's what oil does. It seals up the motor so the with the rings. Okay on, the rings are okay on that one. Yeah. We're good on this side. We need to worry about, uh, we need to fix the passenger side.